Hey, welcome back. My next guest made history five years ago by becoming the world's first pregnant man. His name is Thomas Beatty. His story drew worldwide media attention, headlines around the world after he gave birth to three children with his wife, Nancy. Well, now Thomas is making headlines again. Take a look. In 2007, Thomas Beatty shocked the world with shirtless photos of himself with a beard and a baby bump. Beatty was born a woman. He had his breasts removed, but kept his female reproductive organs. He was dubbed the world's first pregnant man and gave birth three separate times. Whoa! Yay! Are you a gymnast? This past May, BD filed for divorce from his wife Nancy, and not without controversy. An Arizona judge is questioning whether BD was a woman at the time of his marriage. Same-sex unions are not recognized in Arizona, which means BD's marriage could be ruled as invalid and denied a divorce. BD is once again making international headlines in what he is calling a fight for validation. We're just like any other relationship or marriage, and we tried very hard to make it work. And Thomas Beatty joins me now along with his attorney, David Cantor. I appreciate both of you being with us. So, so Thomas, when, when did you and, and your wife break up? We physically separated back in March when I filed for separation and there was a protective order, but basically I hadn't worn my wedding ring for a year prior to that. And, and you have custody of the kids? I have sole custody right now. We share parenting time. And you got married in Hawaii and where they recognized you as a man. And, but now in Arizona, this judge, is he just not recognizing you as a man and therefore saying the whole marriage never happened or it wasn't valid? Well, potentially that could be the case. Um, as far as I knew, everything was moving forward normally. We we're supposed to finalize the divorce back a couple months ago. And the judge is thinking it's out of jurisdiction and potentially could rule it as a same-sex marriage. So, so what, what do you want to see happen? Well, we want the judge to say that this was a valid marriage and grant a valid divorce. And why is he not doing that? Well, it, the, judge, the judge believes that because Thomas kept his reproductive organs and didn't sterilize himself, that he was still a woman when he got married. And that's not how the law works. I mean, it's fairly simple. He had the surgery and a doctor signed off that he had valid sex change surgery. He got a new birth certificate a new driver's license, and that allowed him to get a marriage license in Hawaii. Same rules apply in Arizona. And nowhere in the law does it say that he needs to sterilize himself in order to have a valid sex chain. So what is it, I mean, just emotionally, what does it feel like to, to have this judge kind of say you're not a male? Well, it's, it's very frustrating. I mean, I live my life. I know who I am in someone else's opinion, even though it's a judge's opinion, it's not gonna change that. I'm, a, I'm Thomas, I'm husband, I'm father, I'm a man. Here we are. If, 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 <laughs> the, if the judge though continues to say your marriage wasn't legal then, I mean, it gets you what you want anyway, which is separation from your ex-wife. Right? right, I mean, it would be the easiest thing for me to do. Okay, fine, you know, nullify the marriage like it never even happened, but it did, it did happen. And I, I was married to Nancy for almost 10 years. We, we paid taxes, we bought and sold homes, we started a family together, and I want that to be validated. And it's, it's being challenged right now, so if I back down from it, we all lose. And, and David, what happens? I mean, what, if this judge st stands by it and says, no, I don't recognize you as a man, therefore your marriage was valid. Is there another recourse? Well, we'll appeal it to a higher court, but by him saying that this was an invalid marriage, it has the effect of, pardon the term, but it bastardizes Thomas's children, first of all, because they weren't born in a valid marriage. Uh, secondly, he's saying that immediately, Thomas, I feel that you're still a woman, so Thomas could walk into a woman's restroom immediately. He could marry a man, in front of this same judge immediately. And of course, uh, it, it raises all sorts of other questions. And if he did that, Hawaii could prosecute him for polygamy because Hawaii says he is currently a married man.